हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज 8087 आर्किटेक्चर टू इंक्रीज द ऑपरेटिंग स्पीड सेवरल मैक्रोसर्स आर कनेक्टेड टुगेदर यूजिंग अ सर्टन नेटवर्क टोपोलॉजी देन द सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड अ मल्टी प्रोसेसर सिस्टम द सिंपलेस्ट मल्टी प्रोसेसर सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड अ न्यूमेरिक डेटा प्रोसेसर और एन The NDP has independent math processing unit, and it can do complex numerical calculations very fast compared to the main processor. 8087 was first NDP released in 1980 by Intel, and it can work with 8086, 8088, 8086, and 8088 processors. in today's video you will learn the architecture of 8087 coprocessor let us start welcome to our channel engineering and technology for you the topic for today is 8087 architecture let us start with the introduction each processor in 80 x86 family has a corresponding coprocessor with which it can with which it is compatible maths coprocessor is also known as nxp ndp or fup that is nothing but numeric processor extension numeric data processor ndp or floating point unit fup then let us go to the block diagram of 8087 the internal structure of 8087 coprocessor is divided into two major sections control unit or cu and numerical execution unit or neu let us see the diagram here you can see this is the control unit and this is the numeric extension unit the control unit is having the data buffer then controlled word status words and addressing and bus tracking exception pointer that is for the status and address whereas the numeric extension unit it has mainly the there is a exponent bus and fraction bus and there is a programmable shifter then micro code control unit and there are registers register stack eight register stacks and it also has the tag word so we'll see the details of this how the 8087 operates the control unit this unit is used to synchronize the operation between the main processor and the coprocessor it receives the instruction of code and then it decodes the instructional code and reads or writes operands from the memory the control unit provides the communication between the processor and memory and it is also coordinates the internal coprocessor execution so this unit continuously monitors the data bus to find the instructions for 8087 coprocessor if the instruction is an escape escape instruction the coprocessor executes if it is not the maxer executes so escape instruction means the instruction which starts with f and here the maxer means it is nothing but 8086 so as you can see the synchronization between the main processor that is 8086 and the coprocessor 8087 it is carried out by the control unit so and it monitors the data bus to find the instruction for 8087 coprocessor so the instruction set of 8086 will have additional instructions which are the 8087 instructions so those instructions will be executed by the 8087 then let us go to the next that is the numeric execution unit the numeric execution unit NEU has eight data registers stack they are called 
देन माइक्रो कोड कंट्रोल यूनिट एंड अ प्रोग्रामेबल शिफ्टर एज वी हैव सीन द डायग्राम द यूनिट्स डुप्लीकेट द फंक्शन परफॉर्म बाय द माइक्रोसर कंट्रोल एंड ए एल यू ब्लॉक्स सो दे आर डूइंग द सेम फंक्शन एज द माइक्रोसर कंट्रोल एंड ए एल यू ब्लॉक्स इन द मेन प्रोसेसर सो दिस यूनिट परफॉर्म्स ऑल ऑपरेशन दैट एक्सेस एंड मैनिपुलेट द न्यूमेरिक डेटा इन द को प्रोसेसर रजिस्टर्स द स्टैक कंटेन्स एट रजिस्टर्स दैट आर एटी बिट्स वाइड द न्यूमेरिक डेटा इज ट्रांसफर्ड इन साइड द को प्रोसेसर इन टू पार्ट्स सिक्सटी फोर बिट मैंटिसा बस एंड सिक्सटीन बिट साइन एक्सपोनट बस सो द टोटल साइज विल बी एट्टी बिट्स द एन यू एग्जीक्यूट्स ऑल न्यूमेरिक प्रोसेसर इंस्ट्रक्शन सच एज अरेथमेटिक लॉजिकल ट्रांसकेंडल एंड डेटा ट्रांसफर इंस्ट्रक्शन सो दे आर एग्जीक्यूटेड बाय द न्यूमेरिक एग्जीक्यूशन यूनिट देन लेट एस गो टू द रजिस्टर्स ऑफ एट जीरो एट सेवन द एट जीरो एट सेवन को प्रोसेसर हैज थर्टीन रजिस्टर्स सो एट एटी बिट फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट डेटा रजिस्टर एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड देन अ कंट्रोल रजिस्टर अ स्टेटस रजिस्टर अ टैग रजिस्टर एन इंस्ट्रक्शन पॉइंटर एंड अ डेटा पॉइंटर सो ऑल दिस आर शोन इन फिगर टू कैन सी हियर सो द दिस दीज आर द एटी बिट्स रजिस्टर्स विच आर आर वन टू आर एट दे आर द एट रजिस्टर्स विच आर फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट रजिस्टर्स सो इट विल हैव द साइन एक्सपोनट एंड द सिग्निफिकेंट three fields here then we have the control register status register tag register or tag word then instruction pointer and the data pointer all these are 16 bit registers then here we are also shown the 8086 registers we can see here ax bx cx dx si di bp and sp these are all 16 bit registers of the 8086 cpu then we have the instruction pointer ip and flex and these are the segment registers cs ds es and ss core segment data segment extra segment and stack segment so this figure shows the registers of 8087 and as well as the registers of 8086 8 Zero eight eight main processor, and here one more that was remaining is tag field. So this is the tag field which is two bits. We'll discuss that in details. Then let us come to the control register. Now this is again a sixteen bit register. It has say these three are reserved. Then IC infinity control. RC is rounding control, then precision control (PC). We'll be discussing this in details. Then this is IEM is interrupt enable MAS. That is the MAS bit for all the interrupts. And these are all the interrupts. That is uh, precision, underflow, overflow, zero, divide, denormalize operand, and invalid operation. so these are nothing but the exceptions so exception we can one means it will be the exception will be masked if it is zero then it will occur so the control register will control the different things so first is ic that is infinity control selects either a fine that is allows positive or negative infinity or projective that is assumes infinity is unsigned so we can select any value plus infinity to minus infinity then rc is rounding control determines the type of rounding so if it is 0 0 then rounding to the nearest even 0 1 rounding down towards the minus infinity then 1 0 round upwards to plus infinity and 1 1 chop or truncate towards 0 so these are this is for the rounding control then next 
we have the precision control sets the precision of the result so if it is 0 0 single precision that is short then 0 1 is reserved then 1 0 is double precision that is the long and 1 1 is extended precision that is temporary then we have the interrupt mask enable enable mask it is IEM used as a common interrupt mask for all interrupts so if you want to mask all interrupts you can make it zero so all interrupts will be masked then bits d0 to d5 are used for masking different exceptions that is what we have just discussed say for example you can hmm. so these are the different exceptions say invalid operation denominator is operand zero divide overflow underflow so this bits 0 to 5 d5 they are for the exceptions and this is the interrupt enable mask which is the uh, mask bit for all the exceptions and let us go further then status register now the status register again it is uh, 16 bit registers so we have the bits this is bz b is for bz then c3 c2 c1 c0 these four bits they are the conditional requests and top that is the top of the stack pointer then ir is the interrupt request then this is reserved then pe that is per precision then underflow overflow divide zero divide denormalized operand and invalid operation so they are similar to the status in 8088 or 8086 exceptional flags then here they are given about the top values 00, 0 register 0 is the top of the stack 0 1 register 1 is the top of the stack and now 2111 register 7 is the top of the stack so which register to choose for the top of the stack that is mentioned here so if you can see the busy bit indicates the coprocessor is busy in executing a task then this conditional code bits so this indicates the condition of the processor then indicates the current register address at the top of the stack normally register 0 will be top of the stack so these bits will be 0 0 0 so if you want to change it it can change as per where so if you make it 1 1 1 then register 7 will be the top of the stack then es is the error summary bit is set if unmask error bit that is pe ue oe jd d or i is set so that will be giving us the summary then p is for the precision error indicate the result of operand exceeds the selected precision then ue is underflow error indicates a non zero result that is too small to represent the current precision selected that is underflow error then overflow indicates the result is too large to be represented then zero error indicates the divisor was zero while dividend is a non infinity or non zero number so that is the divide by zero error then denormalized error indicates at least one of the operand is denormalized then invalid error indicates error such as those produced by taking the square root of a negative number so that is invalid the operation is invalid so it is comes under the invalid error then let us go to the tag register tag register is used to indicate the contents of each register in the stack there are total eight tags tag 0 to tag 7 in this register and each tag uses two bits to represent a value so therefore it is a 16 bit register so each tag so this is tag 0 tag 1 tag 2 tag 3 tag 4 tag 5 tag 6 and tag 7 and the tag values are two bits so 0 0 means it's a valid 0 1 means it is 0 1 0 means it is invalid and 1 1 means empty so these are the 
two bits values of the tags so they will be stored in this tag register which is 16 bit then the last part is the instruction and data pointer registers the instruction and data pointer registers are used to hold the information about last executed floating point instruction the information is address of the instruction opcode and the operand address so this table gives you the values of say all the control word status word tag word then we have the instruction pointer so instruction pointer these are the 0 to 15 16 bits and then higher 16 to 19 that is these are the bits and it will have the address and this will be the upcode of the instruction and the data will be present in the data pointer again this is uh, 16 bits and then the higher bits are here that is 16 to 19 so in this way the instruction and data pointer will store the information of address instruction address of the instruction of code and the operand address so with this we come to the end of this video if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and if you want to get notifications press the bell icon then if you have any questions you can find me at facebook twitter gmail and instagram thanks for watching have a nice day i have you now.